Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to create a restaurant table booking system in Excel like this. Let's get started. Great. First of all, open MS Excel workbook and save this workbook as macro enabled file. Go to file, save as save type as macro enabled file because we are going to use some macro codings in this project rename first sheet as booking this sheet will serve as database for the booking system let's create some columns here booking id customer name contact number date of booking time slot number of guest table number this selects entire sheet and adjust column size for better view to create user friendly form copy header just paste by using transpose right click paste special values transpose In column C, leave sales for user inputs. This is list of labels. Here, user can fill their data. Add a time slot. Just select in this place. Go to data tab. Data validation. Again, data validation. List. And add times. Now, I'm going to add two time slots. Comma. Now you can see these two time slots in the drop down. Here, booking ID is not required because this is your auto generated one. Right click and delete. Select table number to add number of tables. Again, go to data validation. Let's add five tables. One, two, three, four, and five. To submit this form, we need one comment button. For that, just go to developer tab, insert comment button, drag and drop is select and changes submit add one more field to check availability if already the time slot was booked it should show status as booked for this i'm going to use this formula to check time slot on the particular date if condition and count ifs formula are used to check booking sheet in the column D and E as well as G to check whether the time slot was already booked or not. Now let's use VBA code to run this program. Just right click on this tab, go to assign macro, create new. Here I have written one code to capture all the booking details from booking form to booking sheet whenever we click submit button last row variable declared to check blank row from booking sheet and it will add auto generated booking id plus one on each submission initially program will start to check c9 field in this booking section to check whether 
if table is not available then this will throw some error message stating that table unavailable please try other timing or table if table is not booked and it's available then program will go to next section to capture all this value and store in booking sheet and this will show a message like booking has been confirmed with the booking id let me close it let's do some formatting just go to view and tick grid lines to make blank let me adjust this column and select all the data go to home tab make it center and border let me select mandatory fields and make it a different color for availability there are two fields one is booked or available so for that we can use conditional formatting to change color based on the fields conditional formatting new rule format only cell contain select specific text if available highlight in green color fill green okay okay if it's booked new same format cells specific text booked format fill color and red this time okay <clears throat> let's test and enter sample bookings using the form smith one two three four five date of booking and time slot number of guests table number three so now it's showing us available <clears throat> okay it's booked now and availability changed to booked booking has been confirmed booking id is three in booking sheet you can find all these details so booking id is three smith contact number date of booking time slot number of guests and table number now you can't book the same table for the same date as it was already booked if we try to book it again for the same date just click this button now we will get the error message like table unavailable please try other timing and tables let me try another booking now so for the same date but in the different timing it will turn us green summit so now it's booked with booking ideas 4 you can see this data in row number 3 now let me try another table but for the same date and same timing but now let me try with table number 2 so it's turned to green now we can book it so booking id is 5 it's booked now that's it so in this way you can start to create your own booking form in excel for your restaurant thanks guys for watching the video